This video will review substructure mounting for QVN 1000 series displays. Prior to mounting your substructure, you will need to use the included jigs to mark the tubes. Hand bend the bracket tabs on the jigs and then align the jig with the top left corner of the tube face. Mark the top left corner of the tube with TL for easy identification. Mark the outline of the keep out slots and fill in the 3 1 8 inch vertical slots. Place another jig to the right of the first jig and piece them together. Continue marking the keep out and vertical slots on the tubes. When you've used all the included jigs, remove jigs from the left and continue placing them rightward and marking the tube until the entire tube is marked. Next, we will mark the wall for tube placement. Prior to installing tubes, mark the wall with horizontal lines to mark the bottoms of the tubes and a vertical line to represent the end of the tubes or the side of the display. Each row of panels will only have one tube, except for the top row. Refer to the contract specific shop drawing for site specific dimensions. Find and mark the stud on the wall closest to the vertical tube edge line along the horizontal tube line. Continue down from this mark, marking stud locations in 32 inch increments. If a stud location directly overlaps a keep out slot on a tube, mark new stud locations at 16 inch increments. Place the marked up bottom tube on the wall so the horizontal marking on the wall aligns with the bottom of the tube. The vertical line aligns with the edge of the tube and the top left TL marking is in the top left corner. Use a digital level to fine tune the tube position. Drill three 17 inch clearance holes through the front and rear walls of the tube at each marked stud location. Screw the supplied hardware into the wall. Moving upward, install the tube in the next row, repeating the stud attachment pattern from the bottom row. Verify the tube is level and plumb. After tubes are mounted, use a level to ensure the faces are plumb to the wall and flat to each other. If the z-axis of the tubes needs adjustments, use shims between the wall and the tube to adjust.